Plates bin migrate uses a change tracking driver to perform incremental replications. For Linux migrations, the block watch module is specific to the version of the kernel being migrated. In this video, I will walk you through the process of compiling a custom driver, which you'll need to do if Platesbin doesn't have one built in. You'll need to create a custom driver if you see this message. A knowledge base article contains the instructions for creating a custom block watch driver. The simplest way to find it is to search for Platesbin block watch. The first step is to find and extract the block watch package on the Platesbin migrate server. Next, copy the source files to a Linux machine with the kernel version you are compiling the driver for. The machine must have kernel development tools installed. Now run the make command to compile the block watch driver. Next, copy the driver to the Platesbin migrate server to a folder name that reflects the kernel version and the architecture. Now rezip all the drivers and rename the file back to one dot package and replace the original file in the packages directory. If you started a migration which failed because of a missing driver, then the final step is to delete the OFX directory from the source workload. You can now restart the replication or configure the migration job.